Hey, everybody. It's Friday. There's five plays. Stick around. Hello again, it's Greg with abetterofficial.com where we craft video to help basketball officials get better and take control of their officiating career. Welcome to another edition of Five Play Fridays where we look at plays and see what we can take from them so that we can get better as basketball officials. Five Play Fridays is a weekly series with new videos releasing every Friday during the basketball season. Make sure to hit subscribe and also the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Hey, a special thank you this week to Shane Parker and Larry Morgan for buying us a cup of coffee. Always appreciated. I am overwhelmed with the support we've received. And as always, you can get us a cup of coffee at abetterofficial.com slash coffee. Hey, let's look at plays. So, on this play, it's important to look at context. We are in uh, first half action, second period, close contested ball game, best player for red, 32, picking up his third foul in the first half. We know all this. Rebounding action. Player in white goes straight up even backing a little bit. Red moves under him. This is clear. And knocks him off balance, causing him to go to the ground. Okay. This is a play that needs a whistle. It's a walk under by Red 32. And we know it's his third foul. Okay. We're going to put the foul on Red 32. We're going to go end line. This is a playoff game, of course. So we know the coach is going to be hot, right? This is just part of the game. It's an emotional game. So it's important here not to address the coach immediately in this animated state. Okay? Stay on the floor. Reporting here could have gone even further onto the floor. That if he wants to make a case, uh, make it something personal, etc., with his it, with being upset, it's going to be obvious to everybody. We expect a sub. We get a sub. Now we're going to engage the, engage the coach here. Sure, he can vent. He can ask a question. He can make a statement. But we're moving on. So we have a transition play, defender, definitely has his hands up, could go A to B, that's the lead's call. And then we've got rebounding action. We have uh, teammates competing for the same ball, the smaller player ends up underneath the taller player, subsequent rebounding action, again, White 15 appears to push his teammate in the back. Rebounding action. White 15 pushes 
White 13 in the back, but gains the rebound. With the purple player here, arm draped over his neck. Here. Player then goes up. We're putting this foul on the rebound itself, not on the subsequent shot. A more patient whistle here could have rewarded him with two free throws. The accurate call is non-shooting foul. A more patient whistle, we could have had a shooting foul. There's nothing that we hear more than over the back, over the back on rebounding plays. Just a great example, larger player, taller player, rebounding action, jumps straight up, is actually yielding. Just They're just being taller by reaching over, completely legal, and then makes a nice play batting it out to her teammate. Let's look at the position of the crew for rebounding action. Leads in great shape. Trail backing out. Center in great position. We'd want to see better engagement from the trail here instead of backing out. He's not backing out to bail. Bottom line, we, from the outside officials on rebounding action, we want active engagement. right? Not drifting and bailing, but rather actively seeking fouls, hooks holds, grabs, etc. Luster gets the alley-oop slam, has this one stolen away from him, and then he is going to foul as Oakland Tech was trying to run with the basketball here. So that's a good-looking foul, actually. But uh, to the foul line, is this is going to be the seventh. All right. Forty White seems to watch NBA action. <laughs> Thinks he's allowed to uh, commit this foul because his teammate was between him and the basket or some such. Uh, avoiding the clear path foul ruling. But in, in, in high school basketball, obviously, this is an intentional foul. Okay, If we look at the rule... Under the definition of an intentional foul, contact that neutralizes an opponent's obvious advantageous position. The foul from behind without playing the ball. An intentional foul by rule, cut and dried. Never an issue. Let's review our intentional foul mechanics. Right, Come up early and indicate intentional foul. Designate the spot of the resulting throw-in. After the free throws, identify the shooter. It's going to be blue 24. Then we're going to go table side to report NFHS mechanics. Three person mechanics. Center is responsible for the middle pack of players from the top of the arc at one end to the top of the arc at the other end. If this was a backcourt play, possibly, the center's going to get that. But this is the center's matchup here, 100%. Once it goes in the backcourt, Trail can pick that up, and we need to look for the next, next action. Right, ball comes here. So center accepts this play in the front court in a high C position. Right, doesn't run away from it toward the free throw line. This is a play that needs attention. Right, obviously the double team. Just want to get an open look on the play. If this ball was immediately swung away, then we'd remove, resume our, our trek down to uh, home position for center. 
and center has a foul here. So takeaways on the play. First of all, as center in transition, know what you are officiating. Know which players you are officiating. Um, when the ball comes into your primary, as it does here, accept the play and get an angle on the play. In this case, as a high C in transition so that you can officiate the play. So this is a player who plays in Colorado. Uh, just phenomenal athleticism. On the girls' side, um, her name is Fran Belibi, I believe. Fran Belibi. Just another reminder that during our games, things can happen that are spectacular. The fans go crazy. It's so much fun. And it's such an important part of officiating high school basketball is the excitement, the drama, and the feats of athleticism that we get to see um, on a night-in, night-out basis. Uh, just tremendous. Hats off to Fran for pushing the envelope in terms of what's possible on the girls' side. Hey, it's Greg with TheBetterOfficial.com. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. We'll see you in the very next one, all right? Take care.